<laughs> Hello everybody, Dark Phoenix Ninja 92 here. And welcome everybody. Welcome to XCOM 2. I am so excited to play this game, you really have no idea. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Since back in October, as a matter of fact. And I've had this game pre-ordered for months. I was literally sitting up last night, because I am recording this on the day of release. I was sitting up last night, just looking at my clock, waiting for this game to release. Of course, I didn't play it that night, because my dad was asleep, and I didn't want to wake him up by screaming in joy or fury at something XCOM related because he doesn't get video games. And, in any case, as much as I would like to just jump straight into the game and start playing now, I need to cover a few things. First of all, this Let's Play is blind. As you can guess from me playing it right on the day it comes out, and the fact that I'm not important enough to get press review copies and stuff. This is blind. This is 100% blind. Well, maybe I shouldn't say 100% blind, because that's not strictly true. I have watched the opening cinematic, and I have played through the tutorial once. That's about as far as I got. Then I stopped. I was only doing that because I wanted to test some options and stuff. But also, I'm not going to show you this, but I did go into the character pool and add this massive list of characters from the div available one that was basically developers and some other thing to do with the demo. So I added those and created some of my own. So, you'll see some interesting characters in there. Who knows? I may have the opportunity, in fact, I probably will have the opportunity, to get the developers of XCOM 2 killed fighting to free Earth from the aliens. And one final thing, while I look through the options and make sure I've not forgotten to enable anything, and that I have everything disabled I want disabled, those of you who are saying something to the effect of, well, you're just playing this game because it's popular and you want some of the hype on your channel or something, you can fuck right off. I'm playing this because I like XCOM, and that's the last I'll discuss this. Anyone who brings something like that up, I will ignore. And I doubt I'll get anyone like that. But I had to mention it, because if it happened and I didn't, I would feel stupid. In any case, that's all the pre-game babble out of the way. So let's hit new game and get started. First of all, I will be keeping the tutorial on. Even though I've played it before, it does a really good cinematic job of introducing things. And I'm going to be playing it on Veteran. Because, to be quite frank, I suck at XCOM. I played Enemy Unknown through a c and beat it once, and that was hard. So, I don't want to push my luck with playing on Commander difficulty or, God help us, Legend. No, we'll stick with Veteran. Sorry about that, everyone. Real life got in the way for a second. Now, as I was trying to say, we'll be playing on Veteran. Because I sucked enough at normal difficulty on the original XCOM. I don't need to push my luck here. So, with all that said and done, we'll hit start game, and you can experience the glorious cinematic and 
pretty well done tutorial as far as I'm concerned for this game. So, let's get started. Excitement continues to build as city centers across the globe prepare for the 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. In keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. Keeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. Perfect. Wait, is that who I think it is? I think it is. The Advent administration reminds you to record all suspicious activity. I'll let the story tell you who that is. Approaching position. You were right. They've definitely got their hands full today. Stay focused. Prep gate crasher. 60 seconds. And that's why you hide your weapons before you go through a metal detector, rather than trying to carry a hidden assault rifle on you. You'll see what I mean soon enough. Time for a big boom, I think. Now. Silly advent standing next to a car. Everyone Loud knows and... cars go boom in XCOM. Okay, Gate Crusher. Your turn. This is the tutorial, of course, first. so you need to it's get out going to be telling Grab us what to do a little wall. bit. Copy that. Moving up. But I don't mind. It's fairly well done. Even if, like the one enemy unknown slash enemy win, but then it's fairly scripted. In position, but I'm exposed here. It's better than nothing, but see if you can't find a safer position further out. <laughs> Looks like full cover ahead. Moving out. Okay. Move yourself to there then. Crasher 2, stay close. Keep pace with Crasher 1. Double time. Alrighty. They're holding position. No, we're gonna have to go that's through a them. Lot of stay out of sight until we're ready to strike. Copy that. to the shadows until you're absolutely set. We'll only get one shot at this. In the shadows. And yeah, now it's talking about concealment, so I will actually read these bits, even if I've seen them before, just for your benefit. So, most missions start with the squad and concealment. Use concealment to set up ambushes. If any of your soldiers are spotted, all of your soldiers lose the benefits of concealment. So yeah, one thing I like about this, it gives us the opportunity to be slightly more Stay aggressive uh, 
while we're concealed without worrying about triggering five packs of aliens Don't and having to deal with 12 of them sure at once or something like that. So yeah, it gives us a bit of an advantage and a chance to be more aggressive. And I like that. Plus, it means that when you spot aliens, they don't all they immediately scatter for cover. On our side. Hopefully that's enough. Since there's only two of us, it would probably make it a bit of an issue beyond thinning the ranks. And yeah, there's Bradford's surprise. You and me both. Taking a couple of the troops We're not out of the woods mm, yet. with We need to take out those remaining soldiers. Yeah. Taking a couple of advent troops. Permission to engage. Do it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And it's time for us to shoot an advent trooper. Down he goes. Now, what will you do, Advent? Move for cover, of course. They scatter for cover since they're exposed. And we lose concealment when any soldier attacks the weapon. We break windows or kick open doors. Or if we're flanked or step on a detection tile. Detection tiles are those things, by the way. So, yeah. That's why we can open and close doors in this game, because kicking them in will put us out of concealment, because it's noisy. They can see you now. How about you all shoot first and celebrate later? No problem. Yeah, I like that idea. I really do. Move up to the I car, the bravery, but hopefully but don't... Close right now. Yeah. Be careful. Mm, hopefully you don't stay on that car. Because as the advent proved in that cutscene, remaining on cars is not a good idea. So, we thin the right? ranks a bit. Uh, and they missed. Now, what will happen, I wonder? Not going out, Betty. Oh dear. And down goes one troop. That was a bit of a no, reckless advance, wasn't it? Damn it! You can't take risks like that. Watch your flanks. So that's how you want to play it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that is a bit safer. We have nice decent work. cover from both Last sides. Before they get around you. We have decent cover from both sides, and they'll find it a touch more difficult to get around me to flank. And I have actual cover from both of them. So we will fire on a flanked enemy. I don't feel the need to... No, I don't feel the need to describe that, because firing on flanked enemies was a mechanic in Enemy Unknown and Enemy Within. They're closing in on me! What? Looks more like they were pulling back anyway. And someone that saved our ass, most likely. She's calling reinforcements. Stop that. She. Transmission. Hello there. Central, reporting in. Oh yeah. It's Bradford. What are you doing down there? Taking in the sights. What the fuck is that thing? What the hell are these things? They're us. At least they used to be. Human hybrid soldiers. Advent's reward for obedience and Not service. Not much of a reward We've if you have to rumors. look like those I things if you ask me. It was true. No one wanted to. But we find what we're looking for today. I promise you that's gonna change. Yeah. Let's move. What are we looking for, anyways? Looks like that transmission went through. You have an advent transport closing on your position. You heard her. Cover the left side. All right, then. I'm on Move. It. Get him covered. Field. Fire on anything that moves. The main entrance is clear. We need to move on the package. Yeah. 
come on, Bradford, get yourself inside. As yeah, that's what I was talking about earlier. He was apparently hiding this big ass gun in his coat three, or something. Up. Hold up. You should check that body for salvageable gear. We need anything we Because can this that's what I'm assuming that though. alarm rumors, going Advent off was about. Do we get a scope? You move to cover. And they're reinforcing the road again. Reinforcements just hit the ground. They're getting nervous. Now I know we're in the right place. Good. Hopefully they stay nervous make stupid mistakes and die more quickly. I would be a fan of that. One more trooper down. Let's keep on thinning well the ranks. Huh? Back to our position. Just go. I'll try to stall them here. That's dumb. I'm not gonna do much stalling, I have to say. I will try and take out that trooper. Or not. I'll have to fire on the officer, is that what they're saying? Yep, tutorial's making me shoot the officer. And we missed that shot. What the and we are out of I'm ammo. All right. Do it. You should be able to cut right through the door's security protocols. They were never expecting anyone to get this close. And we can hack in this game to open stuff. Handy indeed. So, I am going to unlock this door. And get ourselves through. There is. Good. Let's go. Okay, Bradford, get yourself in there. Moving to secure the package. Whatever it is. Let's hope our intel What are we good. after, anyways? This is the place. Are you sure? What is that? Yes. Looks oh, like there is an access panel it's attached. It's not what we're if after. If you get me a better look, I might be able to. It's who Next we're time. after. But. Who is that? And why do we want them? Let's get out of here. Yeah. Uh, I don't know who this is, but they are obviously important. So we're going to pick them up. Carry them out of here. The entire advent security Which is, just lit up. Mm, from Fire what I know, actually an important mechanic in Understood. XCOM. We're on the move. Mm, yeah, in XCOM 2, carrying people is actually an important mechanic. Mm, because... What a good... As I was saying before, soldier there got killed. Mm, it's important because... No! Central. If a soldier... Down. You have to get out dies or is knocked unconscious and you have to evac the mission we need another exit. rather now. than just it finishing after you mm, mm, do a certain thing in yeah, that kind of situation yeah if the way you conclude the mission is by evacing Oh, 
I had call Sky Ranger active instead of grenade. But hole. yeah, it's important to pick uh, um, unconscious people and bodies up because if you have to call in an evac to get out and the mission doesn't just end after you accomplish the objectives, which evacing isn't included in, then Almost under there. those circumstances you lose the equipment of anybody who is left whose body is left behind and if they were unconscious and you leave them right behind us. they die obviously so that's why it's important to be able to carry bodies way too close oh dear come on and Bradford, we gotta get you out of here. Firebrand, this is Gatecrasher. We need an immediate evac. Get us out of here. Yeah, Bradford is obviously gonna need to get patched up. And this is actually really neat, the fact that you call for evac in XCOM 2, rather than it being a pre-designated location. I like that. I like Keep it a moving. lot. You don't need to tell me twice. Because for one thing, if the place you arrive is swarming with enemies and your final objective is basically to GTFO, then being able to pick your evac We're point will help with that. More than a little bit. So now we will evac. that was just now or what that was but I have a really bad feeling <laughs> carefully there's potentially decades of atrophy to contend with wish we had more time I don't disagree. Decades but as it stands of now, atrophy. We risk losing the patient if we don't begin the removal procedure is that immediately. Who I think it is. We are ready. Good. Then let's get on with it. Remarkable. Just like 20 years ago. We were still calling it a war back then. coming. Response from the cerebral cortex. Good. Prepping for cranial intrusion. I've managed to identify the connection. Preparing to make final incision. These readings are getting really erratic. Of course they are. These implants were never designed to be removed. We are risking severe... No plan B here, people. Do it. Response normal, vital stabilizing, procedure complete. Told him it would take more than that to keep you down. Welcome back, Commander. It is. Yes, it's us they were rescuing from that cryostasis thing. Glad to see you're finally Or whatever it was. 
Don't envy the headache you must have, though. Still, can't fault Twenty Dr. years Tigan. locked in the tube, Especially huh? No one's even that can't have been like this fun. Before. Easy. We're still not entirely sure what they did to you. That chip was buried halfway into your skull. Lost a lot of good soldiers looking for you over the years. Almost gave up hope you were still out there. Acted on the intel as soon as I got word. Not sure what you remember, but uh, a lot's changed. Did the best I could, but the last 20 years have been tough without you. You uh, feel like catching up. Shen has the archive up and running on your terminal. Otherwise, I'd go see Dr. Tigan when you're ready. There's some things you should know. He'll be better at explaining them than me. It's damn good to have you back, Commander. And we are officially in game, though still in tutorial land. The research labs. So I think the first thing we should do is read the archives, because there might be some in interesting or important information to look at. And this is one thing I want to mention for all two of you that aren't aware of this. XCOM 2 actually takes place in an alternate universe. Mm -mm, type thing from the original Enemy Unknown under the... and it's based on... basically the way it works is you lost the war. Hang on a sec, I need to check something.